Okay, so what I'm going to talk about now is S codes on valence and glowworms. Um, sorry about this flicker here, but you see, I've arrived at this boiler and it's it's running, but it's not providing hot water properly. So I've gone into the status codes and seen it says S41. Okay, S41 on a valent or a glowworm uh, means the boiler's in limp home mode because the pressure's too high. Um, so I'll show you how to get into the S codes now. Hold on. So the boiler's running. You can see it's at 3.6 bar there. So I'm holding down that minus button and eventually it goes into S41. And like I say, S41 is limp home mode. Um, so we'll reset that, wait for that pressure to come back. 3.4 bar. It's too high. I believe it does uh, S41 if the pressure is above 2.3 and basically the boiler will never run properly. So first thing I do is get the uh, get the pressure out of the boiler. It's now at 1.6 bar. Uh, I'll go into the status codes now. And that's on S30. That's no demand. S20 means it's uh, I can't remember if that's to run for heating or not off the top of my head now, but anyway, so in S20, the boiler's working. I've got this isolated here in the tap open, so now I'll turn this on, get the boiler to run for hot water. There we go, that's in hot water mode. S14 is when it's actually lit and running for hot water. There we go. So now it's running for hot water. So I think I'm fixed here. I'm, I'm about to go, um, but the customer reports while I'm doing this actually, she's telling me that the um, the hot water, even before it stopped working sort of almost completely, it was intermittent, it would run hot, cold, hot, cold. So I leave it in this mode and I keep watching. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes for this to show up now, but we'll see. So basically what's gonna happen now, it's gonna end up going to S53, which on glowworms and valence is another limp home mode. And that means that the boiler's got there we go, S53. That now means the boiler's got too hot and the difference between the flow and return NTCs is too great. Uh, and the boiler's again now in like limp home mode, like your car would. Um, so now I know the boiler's got further issues, uh, which I do resolve, um, but it's quite involved on this one. I have got the footage of it and I will get that uploaded, but it will take quite a lot of editing and stuff. So. I will get that done, but that's just S codes and how they help you diagnose what they, they what they do is they, they let you know what the boiler thinks it's doing and it, they let you know when it goes into a limp mode like that. So S41 is pressure's too high, I'm not going to work properly and S53 is I've got too hot and before I overheat I'm going to go into limp mode. It stays in that limp mode for about two minutes and then it... Um, then it will go again, then it will run hard again and go back into that limp mode if the problem hasn't been resolved. So uh, I'm going to cut this footage and edit it over again so you can see that going to S53 again. But um, I do resolve the issue and I will upload the footage as soon as I get a chance. So just to recap, um, the S codes are just used like any other tool and they really help you see what the boiler is trying to do. So learn your S codes and it will help your diagnosis.